Hello and welcome to another episode of Project Supercar. Now, I know I have a sort of ongoing joke on this channel about it always raining in the UK. And yeah, it pretty much does. But wow, the past couple of weeks, it's, it's been unbelievable. It's been absolutely chucking it down. And I've not been able to do anything with this old donor car. But hopefully it shouldn't rain for today. It's cloudy. Um, the wind is down, so hopefully we won't get any noise on the uh, microphones. But uh, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to push this thing out. I'm going to pull the other two doors off this donor car. I don't think my tent could even save me from this weather. It's been like this for some time. Gusty, windy rain, sleet. It's just been chucking it down. Well, it looks like I shan't be working on the car for some time, sadly. But it is good for my lawn. Ryan Little <laughs> Ryan. Okay, I think we'll start with the back door first. to do is to remove this electric window switch here there's a small hole underneath the uh, handle here and you put a screwdriver in, the, in there and you just pop out the switch hopefully you could make out the little hole just there hopefully this focuses and the screwdriver goes into there and then that will pop the switch out there you go, you can see the plastic clip just inside there and that's what you're pushing down with the screwdriver. This is the connector that plugs into the switch. You push this piece down and then the connector pulls out of the switch. Okay, there's a small screw just in there, and there's one on the opposite side of the door card. Just got to unscrew those two. Now the two screws are out. If you just give the bottom of the card a tap, the whole card should lift up. Something like that. Now that the card is off, if you just pull back this weather stripping, this uh, plastic covering here, you can then undo the latch from the door cable here, and you can undo the speaker connectors inside here. The latch is just inside there, under the speaker connectors. Now that the card is off, I'm going to remove all this uh, loom here, just to disconnect it, take it off this frame, and then I can take the glass out. Now I've just found something inside the door that looks a bit strange. It's like a, a box, some sort of ECU control unit or something. I don't know what it is, so if any of you know what this is, um, please drop a comment. Um, I'll just label this up as 
unknown box or something like this and um, yeah I'm gonna have to try and find out what it is now I'm not exactly sure what this wire does if you follow this uh, this wire along here it seems to be just taped inside the door it goes all the way down and it just ends is it an aerial or something I don't know If you pull back this uh, rubber seal here, which goes between the door and the car, there's a couple of connectors in there. So we just unplug them, and this loom should be free. Still don't know what this box is, though. the door loom out. Just got to label it all up now. I think I'll remove the loom from the other side as well. I quite like these uh, removable connectors. I might have an idea, I might use these on my uh, supercar. I'll have a think. I think this time around I'm going to undo the cable from this side rather than the lock side inside the door. Just a little plastic screw in there, you unscrew that. This should come away and then I should be able to unconnect this part here. Okay, there's just four large screws in this frame and then the window should just lift out. Now there's one point you should note. If you're gonna remove this window frame on your Audi A6 and you're thinking of putting it back in again, then you need to know that these frames are shimmed in place. So you just remember to note where the shims are because these shims will fall out when you take the frame out. Now I'm not putting the frame back in, so I'm just gonna pull this straight out. But um, if you plan on putting your window frame back in, just remember where the shims are. here and then this door is ready to come off. Always put the screws back in if you can. Now I can't quite get my ratchet inside the door to undo these screws so I tend to use a, uh, a small bit like this with a spanner that would fit on there like that and then I use this handle here and hopefully that should undo these screws on the inside. Something like that.
Okay, that's our draw off. Right, with the back door off, it's time to take the front door off. This door is pretty much the same as the rear door. So there's a little hole underneath there to remove the switch, a couple of screws either side, lift it up, pop it off. It's pretty much the same, pretty easy. left to do is to remove the screws on the inside here and then this door could come off. Okay, that's the front door off. So with the front door removed, all I have to do now is to label up this front loom and I think what I'll do is I'll tidy these tools up because it's getting a little bit too messy for me. Okay, so both doors are off and I think I've beat the rain. It's getting a bit cloudy up there. So all I'm going to do now is push the car back. off and it's back into the carport so when it does rain and I'm sure it's going to uh, this thing isn't going to get soaked so um, I'm going to need a hand to get this thing into the garage because I've got to get it over that step so yeah I'm going to need a bit of a helping hand with that so I think I'm going to call it a day and we'll have some bacon so I'll see you in the next one bye for now <laughs>